The Braille Challenge, a national program of Braille Institute, 2008, Teacher of the Year. Hi, my name is Jim Nizal, and I'm a teacher of the visually impaired. I work for Willamette Education Service District in Salem, Oregon, and I serve uh, Polk and Marion County's uh, students who are visually impaired. I've been working in the field of visual impairment for 45 years now, starting in 1963, and, uh, and I love it. I actually learned Braille itself uh, with little slate and stylus uh, on a correspondence program through the Library of Congress. That was the only way that I could learn it. They didn't even lend me a Braille writer. <laughs> and so I was ticking it out one doc, dot at a time. I'm Mary Reed and I'm a Director of Regional Programs with Willamette Education Service District here in Oregon as well as I coordinate the uh, program for students with visual, visual impairment. Well I've worked 13 years with Jim Niesel and he never ceases to amaze me in the things that he comes up with in order to make sure that his students learn Braille. Jim was always looking for the answer and I am so thrilled that the Braille Institute of America has recognized this and recognized Jim. I'm Diana Christensen, I'm the special ed teacher here at Whitworth and I case manage about 24 students in the building. Braille is brand new to me and to my staff. No one in the building here had worked with a visually impaired student before and uh, Jim trained two of my EAs to read and write in Braille. I think Jim is a fabulous teacher. He has so much enthusiasm. Uh, for the kids and he's been doing this a long time but he's still very passionate about it and it's amazing the work he's done. Well Braille is the, the primary reading uh, medium for uh, people who can't read with their eyes and it, it, it opens up great vistas. Uh, I have worked with several students that lost their vision at some point in their life and or were losing their vision very rapidly and uh, this was uh, their safety net. Uh, all, they were becoming isolated, they had uh, all kinds of uh, difficulties coping with the, what was happening to them uh, and once we got going with the Braille and they established some confidence and they found that they could read and write and they could be fully participating in their classes, uh, the world opened up again for, for them. Hi, I'm Sally Jamison, Vice President of Programs and Services at Braille Institute. I'm so excited. I get to talk about the 2008 Teacher of the Year, Jim Neasel. Out of 10 nominees this year, we found that it was Jim Neasel's range of skills and depth of commitment that so impressed our committee. But how did that happen? You know, he actually developed his own literary Braille code curriculum, including a lesson in that specialized, really hard code of mathematics. And it showed such imagination and creativity because he developed all kinds of games and things to help kids identify good Braille, to practice what's correct, and to identify difficult Braille words. What's so unique about Jim that we chose him above the others? Well, he has the ability to adapt Braille instruction to fit any kind of learner. And you know what else about Jim? He really makes things happen. Many people say he's just that kind of leader. When money is needed, he writes a grant. When regular education teachers need to know more about the needs of blind kids, he takes time to train them, the teachers. He supports the parents as well, encouraging them to learn to read Braille to be more involved in their children's education. And all of you parents out there really know how important that is. He's also skilled in assistive technology and an advocate for getting his kids devices that will help them succeed. He does things like come in early to help staff learn about the adaptive needs of his blind students or to work with a student at their home to help them get their adaptive computer set up. You know, all of us remember a teacher who made a real difference in our lives. I think Jim Neasel is one of those kinds of memorable teachers to his students, to their parents, and to his peers as well. Jim, congratulations. We're thrilled that you're the 2008 Teacher of the Year. 
I love teaching. I, I love uh, working with kids and uh, finding out what their le learning styles are, what makes them tick, what puts them on fire, and then I find ways to uh, implement that, and then I just sit back and, and watch the excitement. Two thousand and eight Teacher of the Year, Jim Nizal.